Hello everybody, so we're going to start with a, wow, that was, <laughs> that was super weird. Some of these are coming out at all different kinds of ways, like different angles, some are backwards, some are forwards, some are upside down, some are straight, which is just very, very strange because I always keep them, you know, the exact same way. So that is interesting. But anyways, as I was saying, um, I'm going to do reading for each of the signs. So like, um, you know, we're starting with um, the earth right now. So if you are, you know, Virgo, um, Capricorn or Taurus, this reading will apply to you. Um, so we're focusing on the earth signs and um, Virgo, you are in your element right now as you have summer birthdays and it is summer, but we are reading for all of the earth, uh, the earth signs. So this is going to be um, just the starseed message coming through for you guys for what's coming ahead. This is, um, you know, quick, short term, what's in the near future. What, what what to expect. So we have this card right here and it says child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So you are powerful believe in yourself. This is like a coming into like coming into knowing um, discovering truths about yourself but this is really about yourself like going within and really finding your power, finding your inner strength, finding your inner truth right here. All right. So now we're going to um, pull some tarot. Yeah, that's very interesting, though, <laughs> about the deck. Okay, so let's see what else Ooh, the spirit wants to add to the message. What to expect. What to expect? What should Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus expect in the near future? What is happening? What to expect? Okay, so we got the King of Cups, and it probably looks backwards as you're seeing it, but or at least it looks that way from where I can see it on the camera, but King of Cups. So here, again, like this and this could not be more perfect together. This is exactly it. Coming into power, like you're knowing, seeing truth, just awareness, total awareness. You know, the King of Cups. Like very, you know, like emotional balance, emotional stability, being totally comfortable and confident within yourself. That's exactly what this is, where you're going. So very, very cool. Very positive. Okay. Let's see what spirit would like to add. What else? What else, spirit? What other messages do you have? Need to find a better camera angle. <laughs> but this is what we got. So, Spirit, what else would you like to add to this message? All right. So, we have two of cups. So, with this, um, somebody might, this, this sort of indicates that somebody will likely be coming into your life if, or somebody who's already in it will become more prominent in some way. So um, this could be a friendship, um, business relationship, partnership, um, developing or getting stronger, or um, you and somebody else coming together to to do something to like fulfill whatever it is. Like somebody's coming in to help you, uh, to help you get into like tap into your power source, or when you do to help you um, move forward with it. Else. 
this one. So the Four of Wands. So this is very, very positive. Very good, like a little, you know, celebration. So this has two people too. And this with two people. So there's definitely somebody who is going to be coming in if there's not somebody prominent already in your life that is going to help you be successful to move forward, especially with this four of wands. It's going to help you in a very positive direction, um, in a very, very good, steady progression ahead. So what it, whoever comes in with this two of cups, it's going to be in a very, very positive way for you. It's going to move you forward, whether it's, um, you know, um, like through, a business or if it's more like personal like more um, with the tapping into like your power here they might help you do that and like move you forward in a very um, very good but progressive way here with uh, with these two there's definitely another person involved here so keep an eye out for that Let's see is there anything else Spirit, that the earth sign should be aware of coming up. Oh, this one. Okay, so this is, ooh, okay. <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles, I love it. So, um, very getting into your, your own, like owning it. Um, this is going to speak to a lot of people who are of like in between areas who are might even be contemplating like exactly what she's doing like you know art like artistry anything like that like a like a hidden talent that you have or maybe you're completely aware of it but you're like um you know like you're doing what you can to or what you think you should do to like make like make a living and make a good um job you know good pay but this is like tapping into what you really 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 truly want to do like your creative side and really um becoming more comfortable in that space and really like focusing and when you focus and you're able to do that this is when you're going to tap into that emotional stability that emotional balance and with that you're going to rise into the power center right here so you're going to be able to definitely um you know gain clarity by focusing on more things that are like personal to you personal hobbies and things like that and the person coming in may or may not be um intertwined in this this could be more of a solo act for you or not um the person coming in could very well because it follows the four of wands so they could very well influence you in, a, in this direction okay and any last minute things that spirit wants to add to conclude the reading here whoa okay this one just flew out <laughs> okay so seven of swords so with this this is just so interesting. I've been getting Seven of Swords a lot in my readings lately. <laughs> but anyways, Seven of Swords came out. So very much um, intellectual strategy here. Intellectual strategy. So with it following this, thinking about like your intellectual strategy, what can you do to position yourself to put yourself in the lead um, and to like if you have any people around you who are like um, you know who don't fall in line with your values who are maybe like either um, sort of like against you or like bullying you or just just somebody who you don't want to deal with because they are just so far from where you stand this is really saying to um to use like your intellect and your power and your skill set to push ahead to move through to push forward 
Um, and with that, that alone will make you successful. But if you're not aware of anybody in your life right now who this is talking about, like if everybody around you, you know, you love them, they're great, that's fabulous. This is telling you to pay attention to like, um, you know, to like look out, watch your back, because there, there's, there's something that doesn't really meet the eye here. Um, if the, like nobody comes to mind who may not fall in line where you are. And I hope that makes sense. But if nobody, like, like if everybody's around you is um, like your best friend and you have like no said enemies or, you know, people who are just like, you know, don't float your boat, then just pay attention because there's something more going on there. Like there's, there's something beneath the surface there. Um, so yeah, somebody might, somebody you love may, may, um, may be looking to stab you in the back or something. But, um, and then for the other ones where this is more about, um, you know, really gain, gaining the upper hand through your knowledge and using that as your power source to move ahead because you know that there's people around you who are who either are preventing you from doing that or who don't want you to, to do that. Um, this is saying to really, you know, go for it and to really um, tap into your knowledge and what you know. And if you, and you know, even to educate yourself to be able to move ahead despite, you know, your opponents or whoever may be holding you back. So very powerful messages there. And then we're going to conclude with a message from the angels. So, and this one is the one that comes out. So it says, um, you are profoundly clairvoyant. So trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight. For your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. And that's exactly what we're seeing here with the Seven of Swords and Spirit says it's so much better. But yes, that's exactly it. So like what you see in your mind's eye as well as what you see in physical sight. Pay attention to what is going on around you because there's something here that doesn't meet the eye. Um, and trust yourself. You are profoundly clairvoyant. Just trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust yourself to go within and gain that power. Trust yourself. And when you're here, you gain that emotional stability. This is all about being comfortable and confident with yourself and your just emotions. And you're just in that state of peace. So trust yourself. Not stress that enough for you guys. And I know how hard that is. Because I'm also an earth sign and I have trouble with it. But trust yourself. Remember, you're special. You're profoundly clairvoyant. You're probably, you know, either a starseed or an empath or a light worker. Or maybe all of the above watching this. So trust that, trust what you feel because it is real and you need to pay attention to that because those are important, important signs as the Seven of Swords has come out and really said, pay attention. So those are your messages and I hope this reading has helped prepare you for what is coming. Um, you know, within the next um, few weeks or into the next month. But um, anyways, I hope this reading has been helpful for you and I hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, I will wish you well.